Yes. How's it going, everybody? This is Maxwell McGee, and today I'm joined by Tyrone Wolcott from Rising Star Games, and together we're going to be taking a look at Aikai Katana. Tyrone, did I did I say that right? Well, it's actually Akai Katana. Uh. I've been practicing it all day. It's, 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 it's okay, don't worry, we can, I can completely understand <laughs> it's a Japanese name, but it's, it's really, really cool. I mean, this is obviously a cave game, and it's the pinnacle of all of cave shooters. This okay. is um, probably the best uh, out of all of the ones that we've released so far. We've got it in 69 HD, as well as um, bringing it back and actually having the origin modes in there as well. So I'll show you the game and we can go, go straight in there and we can start talking about it. Yeah, this. let's take a look at some gameplay. So um, just to start off, this is origin mode. Obviously, this is a straight up arcade port. And then we have slash mode, what is the uh, official kind of version made for the Xbox 360. Okay. And then we have climax mode, what is a uh, an amalgamation of all three, or those two together. So we've got an extra level in there, as well as um, keeping it in 69 for HD. So I'm going to play slash mode. Actually, yeah, I'll play slash mode, and we can um, kind of see it in full HD, and then you can I can kind of talk about it. The, the way each one of the games work, there's different scoring systems for all three of them. So um, when you're playing each mode, there's a different way of, a different style to how you should be playing them. Okay. Um, so for example, what is the, what is the so, so, style? So, so, so for this mode, basically those, th these bullets that you see here, the, the roundish blue ones, um, those ones can actually kill you. Those are bullet, um, hell bullets, they can, they can actually kill you okay. right there and then, um, even when you do transform. Right now I should be collecting these orbs that is fueling my my meter on the right, can you see there? There's a green glowing yeah, meter yeah, I see there. It, I see it so that one there is actually, um, the more I fill that up, the, then I can change into a, a separate mode. I probably can just do it quickly now for you. And that's me there. So right there, you can see I'm, I'm actually, I just got killed because I got hit by those bullets. <laughs> and because I was but it was really, worth it yeah. to get a sneak peek. At least you get a chance to see what they look like. And obviously with cave games, as you know, they, they, they are very, very intense. Yes, because they're, um, they're bullet hell shooters well, and yeah. then they're bullet hell shooters. Yeah, I mean, and this is definitely part of the ladder. Yeah, I mean, cave, they are well known for building the, the perfect shooters in that sense. And as you can see, the art style even behind it really does kind of emphasize how much effort and, and work that these guys have put in to kind of make it really clear and crystal clear of, of, of what your objectives are in the game and how to kind of get past certain enemies and obstacles. So you um, mentioned the uh, the sort of blue bullets that we're seeing right now. Those can kill you outright, but yeah. it looks like your character has a three section health meter up the top of the screen. Yeah, th so the so way that works is I can, I can get um, hit to an extent but not and not actually full on whack. So I can't I can't just get get attacked like that. But what I okay. need to do is obviously I'm I'm trying my best to talk and not get killed. There you go, and it happened as soon as I said it. So um, the way I the way you do it, you build up that green meter. Now when these things when they come in, I can change and turn my bu those bullets into points. Okay. So if things get a so little too that, overwhelming, yeah, there you go. You there can you cash go. in, get some oh, extra wow, points. I actually killed them straight away. So go into a little more detail about how this mode differs from like the the traditional so, origin mode. So the origin mode. Um, so for for this mode in particular, the the, the scoring mechanic is um, about you converting bullets into points. Okay. And that right there is it makes you just kind of concentrate on. Sorry. <laughs> it happens <laughs> yeah, to the best. Yeah, of you've us. got to concentrate on actually. Um, getting your combo up and I'm not even getting a chance to even represent my combo so as you can see they're kind of flicking up now um, but yeah that's that's about it so in regards to climax mode the, what makes that different to this mode is that you can um, you've got unlimited scoring so you're constant so you can build up your score whereas this one caps you at a certain level okay so um, yeah it, it, the more you kind of learn about it and we what would be what we're actually doing right now at rising star games is creating tutorial videos for people who actually want to get more um, more insight into how to play these games I mean these tutorial videos themselves we're calling them pilot training um, obviously because you're flying a plane and you don't want to really die and uh, yeah, like how I am. But, um, and then are those going to be available like, and then, through YouTube yeah, or are and they going to be yeah, in the game? We're going to be having them on YouTube. We're going to be producing uh, or sending them through post-launch. Okay. So after the game is released, you can kind of get your teeth into the game, start playing it a bit. And then while you're doing that, you can kind of um, 
you, if you feel as though you need any more yeah. help, you'll get those videos that will give you instructions on what these things are coming by, what these green things are flowing off, okay. uh, are coming out, runes that you can be collecting. So these runes that you're seeing right there, what type of bullets these are, um, what they convert to if you change them into bullets, uh, change bullets into points, all sorts of different little extras. And we're actually getting um, some expert players who are really astute with cave shooters. Um, to make these videos for us, so that, so you're actually seeing them uh, really kind of get the the best out of the game. Um, well, why don't we go ahead and hop into uh, one of the different game modes now? Yeah, and see what else is available. So here we are taking a look at climax mode. We've already reached the uh, the boss the boss battle at the yep. end of the stage. Um, yeah. So right now we're just kind of seeing the difference between um, slash mode and this climax mode. So this this. Climax mode here is basically you can you've got unlimited amount of scoring opportunities. So everything that you kind of change or, or collect um, gets racked up. So every if you can get every single bullet, <laughs> you can actually do. So this is sort of like the perfectionist mode. Yeah, there you go. And as you can see, what I'm doing right now is bouncing these bullets off. I can't kill, I can't stop the blue ones, but these red, these pink ones and the other shaped blue ones I can bounce off. And as long as I turn these and use my laser, I can. I know you're trying. You're trying so hard to cause you, you know, yeah. like juggle all these bullets. You got to fight off this yeah, guy. Oh. You know, it's, it's a lot of things to do in one go. But at least you're starting to see exactly the difference between um, the modes and ha having a chance to reflect um, or, or deflect these bullets. Um, it gives you opportunities to kind of get into the bosses and actually start getting some critical attacks in. Um, another thing to talk about as well is the art style. I mean, it's it's very beautiful. The the anime style for it is. It, it is really, really nice hand-drawn stuff. Um, everything here from the ships all the way through to the tanks. So I want, a little, I want to know a little bit more about the difference between the, uh, the three characters that we saw earlier. Um, so the, th the three characters we have, um, the, main, the way that the story has kind of put it is um, there's a, a, a period in Japan just post um, or pre-World War II okay. called um, this would be the period them. in Japan yeah. when they, they had the giant ships yeah. and the people that would turn into ninjas and fly yeah. around. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, this is, this is a, a parallel universe <laughs> where, where that actually happens, yeah. And that's actually part of the story. They actually, okay. they actually do explain it like that as well. So um, basically what happened is all of these, um, all of the people that um, were fighting in this empire to kind of battle regional areas around them, so different countries around the area, um, they were given these blood swords. Now, you have to actually kill people to actually activate the power of these blood swords. Okay. Um, these so it, com it comes with a price. Yeah, so it comes with a price, and it's, it's that age-old story of um, your moral values and where do you stand as a person, and do you want to kind of um, just follow, follow it like a sheep, or do you actually want to kind of fight for a cause and be somebody? And that's where this story kind of kicks into to a shooter like, like this, what really, um, it doesn't really need a story, but at the same time, it makes sense that you're kind of given an opportunity to. It's to, there for to, the people yeah, who want know? to enjoy it. And um, yeah, so basically, these all three of these characters are rebels. These rebels have actually fought back and said, right, we're going to try and use the ships that we've got and, this, and the, the weapons that we've got. We've already done the killing. All we've got to do now is kind of just take the opportunity and try and fight back and do as best we can to kind of overthrow. Looking this. for a bit of redemption, yeah, you right? know, and, and overthrow this 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 tyrannical kind okay. of power of the empire in that sense. And then from a from a gameplay perspective, I imagine they have like different bullet yeah, spreads. Yeah, exactly that. So um, the, the the male character in there, um, I'm not going to start pronouncing names before I start <laughs> making myself look silly. But at the same time, the male character, he's he's very direct, straight straight shooter. He, he comes uh, at no angles. It's just straight up. You okay. Just got to, um, get your get this the, your alignment right. The second character, uh, Botan, who I can actually pronounce, um, she's she's more direct in, the, uh, but with a bit more of a slant. So she can actually come in from different angles, and you can see that with one of the modes on some of the special videos that we've got, where you can actually fire your swords in um, certain directions. So you can actually go behind the enemy in that sense and okay. actually fire and lock on from a, from, from behind and or come from underneath in that sense. This is giving you a little demonstration there, but. Um, and as you can see here with this character, she's got more of a spray. So this this spray kind of hits everything. It's I mean, a little bit better for yeah, crowd control. Yeah, you know, no, nobody kind of misses, nobody kind of gets out of it. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not doing it much justice. As you can see, bullet hell is, is a bit of a nightmare, but 
Oh my goodness, uh, I'm getting caught out. You're almost there, you're so close. Yeah, I'm caught so out close. with these patterns. Getting caught out with these patterns, but hey, one of those change modes, yeah. You oh, got it, you go. got it. That's yeah. what counts, that's what's there important. You there you go. All right, Tyrone, as we're wrapping up here, can you remind our viewers when Aikai Katana is being released? Well, we're going for the, uh, we've got the European and the US dates, mm -hmm. and the European date is the 12th of May, and for the US, we've got the 15th of May. And this is a full retail release, correct? Yeah, this is gonna be a full botch product. So we've got, um, obviously, uh, in the box, you've got the game, as well as a full color manual. Um, yeah, we're trying to make sure you've got something to acquire and you can kind of put it on your shelf and enjoy. And then is this 360, PS3? Uh, this is for Xbox 360 only. Um, okay. And yes, we will be releasing on Xbox Live sometime in the near future. Um, you, you'll hear from us in that sense. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming on. No, the game you. looks completely insane, no, 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 no. but in a good thank way. Thank you guys, <laughs> and seriously, I'm a big fan. Love All right, work. take Love care, man. Cheers.